the mountains. They come in all shapes and sizes, categorized based on the geological processes that resulted in their formation. From collision mountain ranges formed by colliding tectonic plates to volcanic and dome mountains formed by volcanic activity, to plateau mountains resulting from eons of erosion. Each type of mountain range provides unique geological features and insights into the Earth's tectonic processes. Today, we're diving back into the archives to explore a volcanic mountain that erupted in 1980, causing destruction on a massive scale. Those of you that are joining us now, Harris is visiting me from England for a trip across the West Coast. So far on our trip, we've traveled across Bend, Death Valley, Reno, Vegas, San Diego, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Lake Tahoe, Oregon Dunes National Recreation Area, and Mount Hood. Mount St. Helens, Portugal, 1980, Kuchwe Mirakhe Alse, to Today, we're on our way to Mount St. Helens. But before we enter Washington, we need some breakfast. If you're here just for Mount St. Helens, skip ahead to the next chapter. Harris has had a lot of firsts on this trip. Krispy Kreme is about to be another. Many Oh yeah, the chocolate ice cream. Yeah. After a heavy dose of sugar for breakfast, we're finally on our way to Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens on May 18, 1980 was one of the most significant volcanic events in the United States in the 20th century. Today, we're headed to the visitor center to learn more about this apocalyptic event. Chavi, I'm at the side of the spot and I have a viewpoint day coming up and check it out.
<laughs> सही टाइम पे ले गया है अभी देख कितना फिट मौसम है कोई बोल का कैश नहीं कोई स्मोक नहीं कोई रोला नहीं है, है जी <laughs> बॉस है अब काफी लेकिन चलो वो उसका कुछ नहीं किया जा सकता Building up to the eruption, seismic activity began on March 20th, 1980, with a series of small earthquakes. By late March. The frequency and intensity of these earthquakes had increased. A noticeable bulge on the north flank of the mountain was detected by early April, indicating significant magma movement within the volcano. The main eruption happened at 8:32 a.m. on May 18th. A 5.1 magnitude earthquake triggered the collapse of the north flank of the mountain. This landslide, the largest recorded in history. uncorked the pressurized magma chamber leading to a massive lateral blast the lateral blast devastated an area of about 230 square miles roughly 600 square kilometers place hands up ah okay how's it feel way <laughs> yeah that was that was a bit more intense Pyroplastic flows, consisting of hot gas and volcanic matter, race down the slopes at high speeds, destroying everything in their path. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Can there be? Yes, sir. This area is going to be blown away. Did you see? Our view. Did you see? Now, this area completely, completely ruined. The eruption column reached a height of about 80,000 feet, 24 kilometers, within 15 minutes, spreading ash across 11 states and parts of Canada. The ash cloud circled the entire globe within two weeks. 57 people were killed. The eruption flattened forests, scorched land, and killed thousands of animals. It dramatically altered the landscape, creating a large crater and a lava dome. Over the years scientists have studied the area's ecological recovery observing how plants and animals have recolonized the devastated landscape Mount St Helens remains an active volcano with minor eruptions and dome building activities occurring in the years following the 1980 eruption last day of this trip the last day before Harris flies back to the UK so we'll make the most of our day exploring some must visit places in and around Portland Oregon चलो मेरे लिए साइड में कर दे बस ठीक है लाइक आ गए देखने ज्यादा हो गए नो प्रॉब्लम